In this video, we're going to look at overthinking and emotional chaos. These two are completely linked. So for some of you, emotional trauma may have led to you having a pattern of overthinking, which is you become over amplified in your emotional and your energy system, and you tend to take it up to the mind. Think of the mind as your protector. This is the part of you that for years has constructed instructions for you to avoid pain. So for example, your father tells you off repeatedly when you're a child if you go to the kitchen and help yourself to food. So you create inside yourself a sentence that tells you, I must not go to the kitchen and get my own food. That's a very simplistic way of identifying how this happens to us all throughout our life. Wherever we are indented by somebody else's energy, that's aggression or emotional reaction, we tend to learn to not repeat that indentation. So we create safety rules in our mind to stop us repeating the same action. So when it comes to general overthinking and emotional chaos, these two are linked because if your mind is looping repetitively, what you need to understand is what's the emotion underneath. Let's say you had an argument with your friend three days ago and you can't get it out of your head. You keep going round and round and round in your mind and it's becoming obsessive. Check a few things. What are you eating? What's your nutrition like? Because we can prove scientifically that the more you're eating alive foods and foods that agree with your body versus foods that are more dead and processed or things that you're allergic to, your system will remain alive and vital. But you'll become sluggish if your nutrition is low. So at times where you have either emotional chaos or overthinking going on, how are you looking after your physical body with nutrition? And how are you looking after it with exercise? I know that exercise can bring up a horror to some people because that term can often mean killing yourself at the gym, but it doesn't have to be that way. It can be a simple walk around your neighborhood. It can be going out to nature. So first of all, when you're overthinking, recognize your body has gone into an obsessive state and it needs you to give it space. So look at how you can treat your physical body better first. Secondly, ask what is the emotion underneath this? Because thoughts are completely linked to your emotional body. So for example, if you're going round and round obsessively with your friend and you're angry or you're trying to justify what happened, it's highly likely that you haven't got in touch with your grief about what happened. It's highly likely that we, as a conditioned human society here in the early 21st century, are not so good at being vulnerable with our feelings. So if we're in a fight or a disagreement with someone, we have a programmed tendency to be defensive, either against that person or against our own feelings of sadness or dismay that we're in a conflict. So if you catch you are obsessively thinking about something and it's been going and going and going, you have to get in touch with the emotions and see what's underneath it. You can do this by just sitting in a chair for a few minutes and placing your hands here on your torso, which actually creates an awareness for you to come down from up here. So just place hands on your torso. You may want to place one on your heart chakra here. You may want to place another one on your stomach. The stomach is an energy area for us with relationships. So this is very grounding to do this. And just ask yourself, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? Now, for some of you, you might do this for minutes and not get anything, but don't be dismayed if you don't either feel or hear in your mind how you're feeling. This is an exercise to encourage you to be more authentic about how you're feeling so that the mind does not need to keep looping thoughts to try and get your attention about what's not being expressed in here. So just ask, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? You may feel something. You may start to cry. Really breathe into your stomach. You may start to laugh, and that's the best. You know, laughter is the best kind of crying you can do. It doesn't matter what comes out of you, but just perhaps rub your belly and see what comes up for you in feeling. And practice this, especially if it's difficult for you to go to feelings instead of thoughts. So, overthinking is caused by an over-amplified nervous system. It's caused by over-amplified emotions. So if you observe that you are thinking, 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 you know that what your body is asking for is some space. The lower half of your body, everything from the neck below is saying, please see me, please feel me, and I will calm down upstairs. The reason we're on high alert upstairs is because you're forgetting what's down here. So take that time to just sit and be with your feelings. Release whatever comes up.
If you find it helpful, you may want to write down a few things after you've done the exercise because if you're concerned the thinking is going to come back, when it does, you can look at that sheet of paper that says, I feel sad about what happened with my friend. Now, for the other side of you, and this is the highly sensitive who don't need much in the way of a 3D catalyst to feel all of this, you might do the same exercise, but there might not be a specific reason for why you're overthinking, feeling this emotional chaos. But the same exercise applies. Sit yourself down. Recognize that you're running to keep up with parts of yourself and your mind. Just let yourself breathe for five minutes. Rub your belly. Breathe really fully into your stomach because we tend to not be breathing fully as well when we're over amped up here. So <sighs> give it a rub like you rub a baby's belly. It's very comforting and soothing and something in you needs soothing if you're over amped. The extreme end of this scale is that some of you may have unresolved trauma that goes quite deep. So if you are a person who feels you're overthinking a lot or in emotional chaos a lot, I would highly recommend going to work with a therapist or a healer, whatever feels right to you, and really give that some space in your life. It's a, if it's a pattern that you're tired of and you recognize it's a pattern of yours, it's something that by working with the emotional body and the energy field, you can come back to. So check your nutrition check your exercise. Recognize you might need to just disappear from the stresses of life for 10 minutes. So put on some great music and dance around the house. Use essential oils, put on some incense, whatever works for you. And that's another final key to this video. What soothes you when you are over amplified? So for me, I know that essential oils, if I just rub a little here, put some on my third eye here into my temples, it helps me because the aroma and the oils help to calm me down. I also know that baths, showers, water, which resets my electrical, electrical energy field, helps me come back to me. So identify what's your come back to you thing, because when you're overthinking or in emotional chaos, you've spun off center. I hope this helps. Lots of love.